जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय जय गोपी जना वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमोनतीरा बनचारी यमोन यमोन तीरा बनचारी यमोन जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे एवं हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare संकीर्तन की ग्रंथ ग्रंथ श्रीमद भगवद गीता की जगत गुरु श्रील प्रभुपाद की प्लीज रिपीट ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम ज्ञान तिरांध से ज्ञानांजन शलाकया तस्म श्री गुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तत्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानो सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि वाछा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा 
सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाध श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगुम लंघयते गिर यत्पा तम वंदे श्री गुरु दीनतारिण परमाधव श्री चैतन्यश्वर हरे कृष्ण वेलकम एवरी वन रेड्यूज दीड रेड्यूज दीड कंग्रेचुलेशंस प्रमोटेड फ्रॉम लेवल वन टू लेवल टू इट्स वेरी नाइस वी आर अ बिट पर्टिकुलर अबाउट प्रमोटिंग पीपल फ्रॉम वन लेवल टू अनदर बिकॉज इफ यू आर इफ द पीपल हु अटेंड दे आर नॉट क्वालिफाइड इफ दे आर नॉट प्रैक्टिसिंग एनी वेज दे नॉट वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉट एवर आई टीच इन लेवल टू राइट सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ अस आर गॉट अपॉर्चुनिटी नॉट टू लर्न फोर्टी फाइव पीपल आर प्रमोटेड लुक अराउंड हाउ मेनी आर देर मे वी देर कम फॉर प्रसाद ऑन टाइम so as i always say it's not easy you know in the age of kaliyuga to be consistent in one spiritual practice but if one is determined he can be but if the determination is not there then it's very difficult then it's very difficult so one has to be very determined that yes i want to progress on the path of spirituality on the path of bhakti then yes you know we can keep going ahead so since it's level 2 level 1 sessions i call it as honeymoon sessions around say chilled out but level 2 are a bit serious please come till here come forward hmm. yeah in level 2 it's a bit serious because we're going to go deeper in the philosophical aspect hmm. and also how that connects to our day to day life so i request all of you next session onwards make sure you get your notebook and pen and please keep making notes and uh, also from level 2 to level 3 those people will go who will be chanting 2 to 4 rounds yes so commitment should increase and level 3 is even more a bit you know, philosophically oriented and a bit tougher so today's topic is very very nice we are discussing from shrimad bhagavad gita and we offer this entire presentation to ac bhakti vedanta swami shri prabhupad you see if prabhupad wouldn't have been there tell me what would have done on a saturday evening yes all of us know i don't know what you all at least for myself i always say this whenever i remember i would have been somewhere in ng road some pub with some special <laughs> someone special <laughs> dancing and drinking you are not told we can go like that you are not even going to drink so it's by the mercy of shla propa that today can you imagine saturday evening unmarried youth boys who have full energy in the body who have time the assemble together to do what to attend a satsang and chant hari krishna my god this is what he did this is what he did he has transformed the lives of all of us how many of us sitting here you have attended more than six sessions how many of you are feeling and seeing the change or transformation in your life i say oh all of you and that's the reason you are here or is why will someone come and keep hearing a bald person every single saturday <laughs> So this is a miracle that Shri Prabhupada has done, and Shri Prabhupada taught us the philosophy in depth. If you go to any other organization, you will see that you name the organization, you will you will get the name of the person who is leading the organization. Yes, any organization you name, immediately you will understand who is the leading founder of that person of that organization. But as soon as we say Iskon, we remember or people say Hari Rama Hari Krishna. they don't say prabhupad correct have you noticed yes yes 
Only after people come to ISKCON and they hear about Prabhupada, they get to know about Prabhupada. Till then, no one knows about Prabhupada. This is what is humility of Shla Prabhupada. He always kept in himself behind and kept Krishna in front. You know, that's the genuinity of a guru. And, Pro, and when a reporter you know, was glorifying Prabhupada, he was saying, Prabhupada, you have done so much. You have created revolution. You have done this, you have done that. Prabhupada said that I don't take credit for anything. Only one credit that I take is that I have presented scriptures as it is. As it is without any adulteration. For that I take credit. That's what Shri Prabhupada said. And today, you know, all around the world, if 50 million plus copies of Bhagavad Gita are distributed, if there are so many people who are eager to be full-time and be missionaries, and there are so many people you know, who are eager to transform their life, it's only and only and only because of his contribution. That's why in every presentation we put Prabhupada's photo first to take his blessings. Because by his blessings we'll be able to proceed. So let's begin. Today's topic is Kal Chakra. See in level 1, okay, in Bhagavad Gita there are 5 main topics which are discussed. Ishwara about the Lord. We have covered some aspects of it. Some aspect we'll cover in level 2. And then Jiva, that we are spirit soul, that we have covered in level 1. Then Prakriti, three modes of material nature. Correct? We have covered that, Sattva Gun, Rajagun, Tamagun. Fourth one is Karma. So we have covered the philosophy of Karma. And the fifth topic that is discussed in Bhagavad Gita is Kala or time. So today we are going to cover this topic, Kala Chakra, the cycle of time. And I am sure you are going to have... You know, Tough time digesting what I am going to speak today. And maybe some goosebumps here and there. Toilet is here. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime anyone feels pressure, please go and... <laughs> With time, we will increase the fan speed also. <laughs> it might be needed. <laughs> See, general thoughts about time. What do people talk about time, right? Many times people think, I have got a lot of time. Sometimes people say, I have got very little time. When you call people to come for festival of enlightenment, I have no time. Yes, I wish I had more time. I always, you know, always feel if I would have, our day would have been 48 hours, it would so nice. And I think after 48 hours, we will think maybe 72 hours will be better. <laughs> yes, that's what, you know, all of us might feel. Today, what we're going to do is, these are all the general things. As I said, level two, we're going to dive deep in the philosophy and understand the facts of life. Today, we're going to see two perspectives of time. One is eternal and one is relative. So basically, we'll start, you know, from the universal time and then we'll come to the time of a yuga, Kali Yuga, and then our body. So we'll start from a huge and then from macro to ourselves. And when we see ourselves in the macro level, we are just micro only. Have you noticed when you, if you have you know, traveled in flight, you go above and then you cannot see any person. Isn't it? You just see some green patch, some brown patch, some blue patch, but you will not see any person. And for sure, you cannot find your PJ in your room in that. <laughs> so we are micro. When we go macro, we become micro. Mm -hmm. Let's begin. Please repeat. Shri Bhagavan Vacha Shri Bhagavan Vacha Kalosmi Lokakshay Krit Pravradho Samahartum iha pravrittaha Rite pi tvamna bhavishanti sarve Eva stitaha pratya anikesh yodaha Someone read the translation. This is a green personality of Godhead said, Time I am. The great destroyer of the world, and I have come here to destroy all of you. With the exception of you, the Pandavas, all the soldiers here on both sides will be slaves. You know, what is the context of this? This comes in 11th chapter. In 10th chapter, Arjuna asks Krishna, tell me about your opulences. Then Krishna started describing. And towards the end of 10th chapter, he said, how much can he tell you? Tell you? He is just a fraction of my opulence sustains the entire world, entire creation. And after that, Arjuna was like, please show me your universal form. I want to see your universal form, Vishwarup. And in front of Arjuna's eyes, same place, on the chariot, 
Krishna manifested as universal form. And in that universal form, what happened is Arjuna could see everything in the creation. Everything in the creation. And in that he could see that the Kauravas were entering the mouth of the universal form and some of them were stuck in the teeth and some of them were beat, you know, nicely chewed. Arjuna was very scared. And at that time he forgot it was Krishna. And you know, he started asking, Who are you? Who are you? At that time, Krishna is telling, Kalosmi. Aham Kalaha. I am time personified. I am time. And what, what do you do? He says, I am the great destroyer of the three worlds. Hmm. Now let's go a bit deeper. Hmm. See, this is what we have studied till now. Earth, water, fire, air, ether. What are they called as? Pancha, Pancha Mahabhut. Hmm. Hmm. And then mind, intelligence, false ego. They are part of which body? Subtle, subtle, subtle body. body. Correct. Gross body made up of earth, water, fire, air, ether. Subtle body, mind, intelligence, false ego. Now, how do you know these uh, gross body, subtle body, they interact? By karma and three modes of material nature. Sattva gun, Raja gun, Tamma gun. Hmm. Have you all attended this session, karma session? Have you all attended? Anyone who's not attended? Three modes of material nature, Sattva gun, Raja gun, Tamma gun. Yes. Anyone who's not attended? Okay. So, what does time do? See, normally when cooking is done, so you put all the ingredients and leave it on the flame for some time. Correct? That's what time does. <laughs> so time does two important things. It acts as a controller and second, it acts as a destroyer. So time controls everything. You want it or you don't want it. Time will control everything. You want it, you don't want it, time will destroy everything. Do you all agree? You have to agree, now we want to discuss more. <laughs> Now we are going to do some calculation. As I said, we are talking about universal time. How many hours? 24 hours in a day. Now let's see 24 hours of Lord Brahma. Ready everyone? So let's begin. You will not understand this anyways, so you can hear me. So when it comes to Kali Yuga, the lifespan of Kali Yuga is 4,32,000 years. How much? 4 lakh. Hmm? Only 5,000 years have passed. Only 5,000 years have passed. How many are remaining? 4 lakh? 27,000 years. Hmm? Sometime back, I don't know which year it was. 9 or 10 or 11. People were telling that Abhi, you know, everything will get destroyed. Everything will get destroyed. See, if you don't have knowledge from Shastra, all these rumors and fake things, you know, will agitate us. But when you understand, what time is What time What time is What time hai is dunya ke liye, mere paas to what time nahi hai. <laughs> so, for like 32,000 years. Now, let's consider this as X. This duration as X. See, everyone has to pay attention to me. So, there are four Yugas, right? So, Kali Yug, uske upar, which Yuga? Dwapar Yuga, then Treta Yuga, and then Satya Yuga. Now, if Kali is X, Dwapar Yuga's duration is 2X. Okay? And Treta Yuga's duration is 3X. And Satya Yuga's duration is 4X. So, one, all these four put together, Satya, Treta, Dwapar, and Kali put together, that's called one Divya Yuga. Okay? This one Divya Yuga equal to how many X? 10x. Yes. So you all remember, Divya Yuga is 10x. Divya, one Divya, whenever I say one Divya Yuga means all four put together. Okay. Now there's another unit called Manu or Manuvantara. Hmm. One Manuvantara consists of 71 Divya Yuga. Hmm. One Manuvantara consists of 71 Divya Yuga. How many x? 710x. Now the number is going to increase. <laughs> okay. Understood? One Manuantara consists of 71 Divya Yuga. For your information, the current Divya Yuga that is going on is 28th Divya Yuga. Current, what we are in, it's 28th Divya Yuga. Exactly half. 
நான் ஒன் டே ஆஃப் பிரம்மா சொன்ன என்ன சொல்லுவோம் ஒன் டே ஆஃப் பிரம்மா கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்டீன் மனுவந்தராஸ் ஹிஸ் டுவெல் அவர்ஸ் இஸ் ஃபோர்டீன் மனுவந்தராஸ் ஸோ ஃபோர்டீன் இன்டூ ஹவு மெனி செவன்டி ஒன் இன்டூ டென் எக்ஸ் தட்ஸ் ஒன் டே ஆஃப் பிரம்மா தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஈக்குவேலன் டு அப்படி இத்தனா கேல்குலேஷன் முஷ்கில் ஹோ ஜாகா தோ ஆல்சோ ஈக்குவேலன் டு தௌசண்ட் திவ்ய யுகா ஒன் டே ஆஃப் பிரம்மா இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு தௌசண்ட் திவ்ய யுகா அண்ட் திஸ் கிருஷ்ணா இம்சல் இஸ் டெலிங் இன் பகவத்கீதா ஸோ தௌசண்ட் திவ்ய யுகா சஹசிர யுக பரியந்தம் திஸ் வாட் கிருஷ்ணா இஸ் டெலிங் இன் பகவத்கீதா ஸோ சஹசிர தௌசண்ட் தௌசண்ட் திவ்ய யுகாஸ் நவ் சிமிலர்லி இஸ் நைட் ஸோ தௌசண்ட் ப்ளஸ் அனதர் தௌசண்ட் so this is 2000 into 10x correct 1000 divya yuga we said divya yuga is 10x so 2000 into 10x so 20000x bataiye kitna hoga how much is 24 hours of lord brahma don't worry i'll not trouble you all <laughs> na calculator mein fit hoga na yahan fit hoga <laughs> it's okay <laughs> so the entire calculation of uh, you know one day of brahma hmm, or i should say yeah one day hmm, is 43 crores yes and then you multiply by 2 that becomes 24 hours like that brahma lives for 360 years or 365 years pakad liye hmm. so 365 into 2 into that one day calculation 43 crores that we spoke about when you put all that together life span of brahma is 4300 sorry 311 trillion 40 billion years how much 311 trillion 40 billion years was that right that is one day of brahma now there are two types of pralaya that happens one is called as partial annihilation one is called as complete annihilation annihilation is pralaya partial annihilation what happens is there are 14 planetary systems except for first three all others are filled with water so this happens at the end of the day of brahma okay now at the end of the life of brahma what happens entire universe gets filled with water entire universe and brahma dies yes so this is called as brahma's life span maza aa gaya na ekdam 311 trillion 40 billion years now we are not yet done let me take you a bit more level ahead now brahma as you all know comes from vishnu yes so from the navel the lotus flower appears and then vishnu appears actually there is much more philosophy and much more facts of this there are three types of vishnus i'll not get into that one of the sessions i will be taking so three types of vishnus one is mahavishnu garbhodakshay vishnu and shirodakshay vishnu so mahavishnu is that person or that personality when he exhales when he exhales so from his every pore of his body hmm? how many pores you have infinite, infinite. infinite. count kiya nahi na kabhi yes now just imagine how many pores lord will have okay now how big his body will be to understand that i'm telling this from every pore of his body comes out one universe one brahmanda he is sleeping and then he exhales and then all universes come out from his body now you can imagine how huge the lord is and then when he inhales that is the mahapralaya complete annihilation where all the universes go inside the body of the lord so when lord does this all the universes are out and when he inhales it's inside now consider the entire creation abhi bataiye brahma's life span when it's compared to the entire creation is considered to be a flash just a flash just a flash you soch you know just you know he lord exhales brahma appears in one of the universe and then he inhales brahma dies <laughs> my god this is like <laughs> Well, like flash. Hmm? Abhi, let's compare our life with Brahma. <laughs> <laughs> Brahma's lifespan is 311 trillion 40 billion years. Ours is 
हंड्रेड इयर्स मैक्स अभी कोई जिएगा हंड्रेड इट्स अ बिग थिंग यू नो मैक्सिम आउट इज सी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी अगर एक्सीडेंट नहीं हुआ तो अगर कोविड नहीं घुसा तो यस सो वी कैन से सिक्सटी सेवेंटी वर्ड एवर नाउ कैन यू इमेजिन हाउ मच टाइम वी हैव इफ ब्रह्मा लाइफ इज अ फ्लैश देन वॉट इज अवर लाइफ माई गॉड वी आर एक्चुअली नो एग्जिस्टेंस ही नहीं है हमारा डी ऑल एग्री एग्जिस्टेंस है क्या हमारा इज देर एनी एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अवर ऑन दिस प्लानट नो एक्चुअली नो बट कैन यू इमेजिन हाउ मच ईगोज वी हैव है we are not existing in this world actually if you consider the macro level we are not existing only but ego is itna zyada ego baap re of hmm? we won't die any time and that is like agar brahma ka life flash hai to pata nahi hamara kya hai <laughs> you can just see you compare hmm? you just compare so here comes when you see when a spiritualist understands the macro level you know what happens he becomes humble unnecessary pride nahi hota usko उसको पता है अरे आई एम नथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड वाई शुड आई बिकम प्राउड ऑफ एनी थिंग करेक्ट एनी वन अंडरस्टैंड दिस फैक्ट विल रिमेन हम्बल विल रिमेन हम्बल एंड दैट पर्सन विल ऑल्सो बी वेरी कॉन्शियस ऑफ टाइम फालतू में टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करेगा वो नेवर एंड एट द सेम टाइम यू अंडरस्टैंड अरे आई एम जस्ट एंट इन समन एल्स बुक कैन यू इमेजिन यू आर रीडिंग एंड दिस एंट सो वॉट यू डू Similarly, we are ant in someone else's book. Khata, hmm? <laughs> existence over. So, it's a very, very important thing. The first step, the first step to spirituality is humility. अगर ऐसे लगता है हमें कि हमें सब कुछ पता है, if I know, if I feel that I know everything and I am something big, it means you know the person is, does not know anything and is nothing. Anyways, we are nothing as compared to. the macro level right so humility is the first step that person who is humble that person who is humble is like a huge vessel which can hold a lot of nectar a lot of knowledge a lot of mercy a lot of blessings that person who feels that you know i know everything etc that person like a flat slab kuch bhi gire bhai jayega nothing will stand very nicely in shastra it is said a person who is humble and having other qualities is like a tree with lot of fruits it will always bend and a person who is proud of himself he is like a tree without any fruits you see a tree with fruit will bend tree without fruit will stand straight <laughs> yes now let me tell you another personality's name and his activity to understand the importance of time hmm? can you all come forward and shift like this some people are struggling to look at my face shift here hmm. yes so you can look at me not at the mobile phones <laughs> kartikeya das and physical not the okay take thank you thank you very much now there was a person person a rishi called his name was loma sa rishi hmm. loma sa rishi now loma sa rishi did lot of tapasya and he got a benediction and you know what was the benediction the benediction was that at the end of the day of brahma hmm, one hair of his body will fall i repeat loma sa rishi got a benediction and the benediction was at the end of the day of brahma you remember day of brahma yeah. how many eggs 7x uh, day day 7x how if you consider 20000 yes 20000x 1000x or 1000x One day, one day, thousand into ten x is one day. One. Correct. So like that, twenty thousand x. When it is done, then one hair will fall. And when all the hair of his body fall, then he'll die. Nice benediction. <laughs> yes. So one day. Now you can imagine his lifespan. You all can imagine his lifespan. Hmm? Now one day, what happened is Loma Sir Rishi was sitting and doing his, you know, sadhana, chanting the holy names and. He was absorbed in thinking about the Lord, uh, sitting just outside like this, you know, on the uh, land. His uh, disciples came, and he said, "Guru Maharaj, we want to build you a cottage, a hermitage, so that you can sit inside and chant, sit inside and do your sadhana." You know what Loma Sir Rishi said? He was Loma Sir Rishi became agitated, and he said, 
What are you saying? We have very less time. Let's invest all the time in spiritual practices and don't waste time in building a house. My God. <laughs> and now, you know, if you talk to people of this world, Are what time? Are what time? Chalo, baja maarte. Saturday evening, Sunday, chalo, baja maarte. What time? What time? So jao, bara ghanta, tera ghanta, so jao. This is the difference between a spiritualist and a materialist. Spiritualists are always conscious of time and those people are successful who are always conscious of time, even materially. Those people who feel they have a lot of time, are kya hi hai uske life mein? At least after today's session, I don't think you will say you have a lot of time. <laughs> this Kala Chakra. So in this way, we understand that how Loma Sarishi was so very serious about spiritual life. Similarly, we need to be very serious of our spiritual life. Can you tell me how long I want to live? A any number? Huh? You want to guess why? Life expectancy is 74 years. Okay. But then how many years we want to live? Maybe <laughs> tomorrow. Or maybe after the session. <laughs> Actually, to be frank, we don't know. Actually, to be frank, we don't know. Matlab, at night we sleep, in the morning we get up, you never know if the, still the body is breathing. You never know. But the arrogance of human beings is, what time? What time? No, I have a lot of time. A spiritualist is always conscious of time and he tries to maximize the spiritual practice because that's what is permanent. Baki is the temporary. Everything including this body is temporary, right? So there is a law of entropy. I'm sure all of you might have studied paper Law of entropy, physics. It says that with time, everything, it you know, disintegrates or gets destroyed, right? So now what we'll do is, now we we'll discuss the entire creation. Now let's come to one yuga, sorry, one divya yuga. One divya yuga means? Uh, what does it consist of? Hmm. What are those yugas? Satyu, Treta Yuga, Vata Yuga and Kali Yuga. Yes. Now let's talk about that. Hmm. Now with time, what happened, you know? The yugas also degraded. Everything degrades with time. So yugas also degraded. I remember, you know, whenever I talk about this, I remember a very nice thing about the degradation of yugas. You'll find, whenever you see this Kal Chakra session on YouTube, you'll find this. No, I'll, I'll be telling. So what happened in Satyug was, whatever people would earn, they would just donate to the Lord. Oh Lord, sab aapka hai. And they would actually do it. And then Treta Yuga, degradation happened. And they started saying that, uh, they draw, drew a line, and they threw the opulence, whatever they had. Whatever falls across that line, oh Lord, it's yours. This side, mine. Then more degradation happened. That is Dwapar Yuga. They start feeling that line is very low. They drew a circle. Huh? So they threw, Oh Lord, whatever falls inside the circle Easy. is yours. And you know Kali Yuga, what people do? They throw and they say, Lord, catch as much as you can. <laughs> catch as much as you can. That's Kali Yuga beings. So degradation. On a serious note, there is serious degradation. You know. Satyuga was called as Golden Age, then Silver Age, Bronze Age, and now this is called as Iron Age. So there are four pillars of Dharma. Can anyone tell me? Four pillars of Dharma. Truthfulness. Huh? Cleanliness. Mercifulness. Last one. Austerity. Dekhe, hum hai sanatan dharmi, jinko dharma pata nahi. Correct, Noro? Four legs of dharma. That is, in sequence, truthfulness, mercy, skillfulness and austerity. Now in Satyuga, all four were there. So dharma is represented by a bull. In Satyuga, he had all the four legs. In Treta Yuga, what happened is, austerity was lost. Now it was standing on three legs. In Dwapar Yuga, what happened is, cleanliness was lost. And now in the age of Kali, 
what is lost mercy mercy is lost yes and now dharma is standing on one leg which is truthfulness you see if you are not austere you will not be put behind bars if you are not clean you will not be put behind bars if that is the case then all the pg boys should be in jail <laughs> Exceptions are there. <laughs> My God, it's it's really you know horrifying. I remember during the college days, during my intake time in Bits Pilani hostel. Mein. So there were a few boys, you know, who'd change their clothes uh, once in a semester. <laughs> so they'll come from home in one jeans for six months. They'll wear that. They'll throw there only. Go home, get another jeans. No washing business. <laughs> And taking bath also, I remember, once in a week people would take bath. You know, some boys were there like that. Yes. Now also, when I see people don't wash their clothes. Ek hafta, do hafta, oi cloth. And usko thik rakhne ke liye, pus, 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 pus. Hmm? So externally, we might you know, have that fragrance, but internally, you know, we might be stinking, internally, we might be stinking. Hmm? So no one put behind bars. If someone is uh, not merciful, Anyways, there are so many meat eaters in this world and they cut, you know, whatever is crawling and walking and flying, they cut and eat. So no one is putting them in bars. Yes. I remember someone was telling me this, in some foreign country there is a festival called Old Man Festival or something like that. When the person becomes, uh, if I'm not wrong, 80 plus. So all the relatives come to that home. And there is a festival where the person is killed and his flesh is cooked and everyone eats. Anyone is useless? No. Just eat it up. Just eat it up. So cannibals, cannibalism has already started. No, in China, you know, they eat uh, fetus. Fetus, pata? When male and female unite, when they have sex, the ovum and uh, semen, they combine. And then, you know, it forms like a small pea. And then it grows, grows, grows. So fetus is that uh, substance, you know, where the body is not yet fully developed. <coughs> So now there's a business where the females get pregnant there and they donate, they give the fetus for selling. And people buy that fetus, cook some cuisines and they eat. And if you eat that, it is said, you know, one's sexual power increases, one's skin texture and complexion becomes very nice. You want to try? <laughs> so just imagine where the world is heading. And no way, don't worry, no, India is in a good competition. We'll reach very soon. We'll be first in all this nonsense. So anyways, Marusi, is not there. But truthfulness, you see, if someone is lying and if he's caught in a big, big uh, firms and all that, he'll be put behind bars. So like this, we understand that in Kali Yuga, Dharma is standing on one leg and that is truthfulness only. Yes. Now, how the degradation happens with the modes of material nature? Satya Yuga, people are in mode of goodness. Treta Yuga, you know, some contamination happened of passion. And then the Vapar Yuga, contamination of ignorance. Now in the Kali Yuga, what remains is? Passion and ignorance, mostly ignorance. You see how ignorant people are. People are interested to understand what is spiritual life. Sometimes your mind might also say, Chhode ya, har Saturday kya jana hai. That's ignorance. That's ignorance. This is not important. Let me focus on that. Let me focus on this. See, everyone knows, all of you sitting here, I've attended karma session. You all know, Praradha Karma, we will be having a session on that. What is Praradha Karma? So based on past activities, in this life, many things are fixed. Including one's career, including one's uh, how much money the person is going to earn. Yes? So what is not fixed is how much we are going to advance in spiritual life. That's not fixed. So that is in our hand. But still the mind will trick and it is so much in ignorance that it will trick us and it will tell, focus on job, not on this. Ye to baad mein and that tomorrow never comes, never. And the person dies, just dies, right? So now currently we're in ignorance and you see so much of ignorance. My God, this Colif PG business that has started, so much of ignorance. Can you imagine these males and females who are having sex with every, some other person every night? Can you tell me what sort of next generation is going to come? It's going to be really horrible. I don't know if you people are able to understand, but at least it gives a lot of pain to my heart when I think about all this. What sort of next generation is going to come? It will be only Hiranyakashipus and Karanas and uh, you know Ravanas only. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's going to be really horrible. Really horrible. 
that degradation happened in the age of kali i can speak on the degradation a lot but i don't want to get into that now some session will discuss elaborately you know, kali yuga and nonsense so this is about yuga how it degrades you know with time now let's talk about a day in a day also the day degrades with time i'm not talking about people who go for night shift okay unka day alag hota hai and i'm not i'm talking about normal shift if you're sleeping at night i'm talking about those people so if you see early in the morning when we get up we are fresh isn't it yes. if you have got proper sleep you're fresh and that is the time mom from morning 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock is called brahma murta that is the time i i i could never understand my parents would say study early in the morning study early in the morning i could never understand now when i'm reading shastra i'm able to understand that time is prescribed for various goodness activities you know like spiritual activities studying and all because that time is a time when the mind is fresh and clean and it can absorb a lot of things so that's brahma murta that's a mode of pure goodness then you see slowly and steadily as the day proceeds automatically there's a lot of halchal that happens outside and also inside inside the body yes and then as the day keeps going and going and the sun is on the head you will see that how people keep running around and slowly and steadily you know we start settling down and getting into the mode of ignorance in the evening time now nowadays the bars and pubs are open just like that but actually in previous times bars would be open only in the evening time prostitutes will come out only in the evening time yes dance bar dance or pubs or whatever only in the evening times now to compensate the night shift people also we have morning also open all, all these things are open in morning also yes so with time what happens is the degradation happens the day also you can observe your consciousness itself when you start in the morning consciousness will be good if you chanted hari krishna slowly and steadily you'll see how the consciousness also degrades with time and at night will be a weird consciousness so i tell all my students sleep early if you don't sleep early or late awake at night till you know to 11 12 1 and all you know lot of contamination will enter and lot of nonsensical activities will do at night better sleep early right so in this way all these things will happen so i always suggest spiritual activity should be done before going to office yes i request all of you no don't get stuck at one round now start chanting four and it will take half an hour it's my experience i never chanted one i directly started with four as my experience that these few number of rounds no it will look like mountain but when you increase the rounds it's very easy now one round is almost like a mountain are yaar kabhi khatam ho so bar bar nikal ke dekhte station aaye ki nahi station aaye ki nahi yes but then when you chant four rounds you will see it will very easy one round will be very easy it will very easy i always tell all my students see most of you, you know are there at the age of marriage so if you are there at 16 rounds you'll come down to after marriage 32 rounds <laughs> jokes apart seriousness bolie <laughs> he'll come down to hey everyone is confident yes <laughs> it's supposed to tell me someone is at one kya hoga uska gaya gaya bhakti ke bahar you know and then sometimes you know if i'm walking on the road and if he's walking with his family either you turn like a bhag jayega are ye taklu aa raha hai bhago bhago puchega kitna wala chal raha hai therefore i keep you know telling don't wait now it's the right time increase your rounds half an hour are 2 ghanta bhi kuch nahi hai for a youth after marriage a lot of responsibilities now 2 hours is also nothing actually to be frank and what about you people you people are still employees on a junior level hmm. and my students you know who are at director level you know who are entrepreneurs ceos they are chanting 16 hours every day 2 hours every day they invest 2 hours now if those intellectuals are doing that it means you can imagine the importance of 16 rounds you can imagine the importance of mantra meditation so don't get stuck at one round hmm. once what happened is i met one boy he, he said he's chanting one round the next year i met no i asked him how many rounds you chanting pro you one i said uh, pro still one pro i'm chanting quality round <laughs> and i'll gradually increase after four years i met still is at one he saying pro i'm call chanting quality and gradually i'll increase are bhai tu marte dam tak ek hi mala karte rahega aur agar shaadi ho gayi galti se to zero so this is the point no very very important so increase your rounds no? 
and do that before going to office. And if you feel chanting in PG is difficult, come to our center. Every day from 5 o'clock to 7.30, we all are sitting and chanting in the center, our 16 rounds. We sit at one place, finish 16 rounds, then we get up. So you all can come if you, have, if you feel chanting in PG is difficult. Now let's talk about our body. We talked about the yugas, we talked about the entire creation. Then we came down to universe, now we came down to Divya Yuga. Now we're coming down to, uh, then we came down to the day, let's come down to our body now. Let's talk about this body. Someone read this. The body is subject to six kinds of transformations. It takes its birth from the womb of mother's body, remains for some time, grows, produces some effects, gradually dwindles and at last vanishes into oblivion. The soul, however, does not go through such changes. Yes. So I'm sure all of you who have attended the session, everyone attended body, soul, reincarnation, near-death experience. Who didn't attend the session? Near-death experience, reincarnation, okay. So ask your mentors to send you the link. It's there on the YouTube. Please go through that. It's a very important session. There we have proved scientifically how we are not the body, we are spirit, soul. That's a very, very important session from second chapter of Gita. So next week, before you come for the session, please make sure you have you know, go seen that video. Now, it is proved very nicely that every five to seven years, this entire body changes. The cells will die, new cells will come. Another very astonishing uh, fact is a small baby, newborn baby has got 300 plus bones and an adult has got 200 plus bones. Hmm? So you can just imagine, entire body has changed. Bones change away the what? Entire body has changed. So body is changing but the person is same. Hmm? So who are we? We are spirit soul. So spirit soul, there is no problem. Hmm? And you know, with the, with the uh, increasing of the age of Kali, what is happening is body is becoming more and more weaker. <laughs> Nowadays, this is what I see people doing. Or I say, bathe, bathe, say, say, say. And you know, I, I know some people who are like 80 years old, 85 years old, they are still strong. You know Harikshitapu, you all know, right? Our center head. His father is 85 or something. Yeah, 80, 84, 85. So one day we were supposed to go somewhere, he came on bike to take me. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting behind him and he was driving. <laughs> now because of some health issue, you know, some problems are happening. But then he was very strong, like two years back, you know, he was taking a bike. You know, even now he drives car you know, for long distance, from here to Coimbatore and all that. Very strong. But look at us. <laughs> very difficult. So with time, our body is also becoming weak, very weak. Because of whatever reasons, whatever reasons. Therefore, you say Kaliuga body, Khatara Gadi. <laughs> and this Gadi, any screw becomes Dila, gone. And the entire body is weak. So, in this way, we understand that how the body is becoming weaker and weaker you now with time. There's a very uh, nice uh, fact you know, which we came across a celebrity in one of the movie. I don't know which movie was that, talking about the past, some ancient, uh, uh, about kings and whatever. So he said that only if you give me the original armor of Chhatrapati Shivaji, which is there in the museum, then only I'll you know, act. The director and they're like, oh, what you're asking? Okay, let's go. They all went to museum. And this person, forget about wearing it, he couldn't lift it. He couldn't lift the armor he was supposed to wear. He couldn't lift. That's what is Kaliuga body Khatara Gadi. With time, the entire body is becoming Khatara. It's very, very difficult, very, very difficult, right? And it's a very, very important thing to note that our body is degrading like this. Yes, where are you all? Huh? Six. Six. One, two, Four, three, four, five, yeah, six. Hey, six, Seventh, huh? Okay. Seventh. Matlab, aur doi bacha hai. One, two. One, two. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is the fact of life which I put in front. This is the fact of life. Ye fir bhi straight khada hai. Apan straight nahi khada rahenge. For sure. So we are here very soon. Very soon. So this is how degradation is happening of our body. See, you apply as much as anti-aging cream you want. 
रिंकल्स आर गोइंग टू कम कितना भी कलर लगा लो बाल ब्लैक से वाइट होंगे ही राइट right? कुछ भी कर लो बाल तो गिरने ही वाले राइट इनफैक्ट ऑल दीज आर साइंस ऑफ ओल्ड एज इन रामायण वॉट हैपन इज रामनवमी इज कमिंग बाय द वे थर्टी एथ ऑफ दिस मंथ इज रामनवमी विल सेलिब्रेट नाइसली सो वॉट हैपन इज दशरथ महाराज वन डे वॉज सिटिंग एंड दिन मिरर ही सॉ वाइट हेयर वॉज कमिंग सो ही सॉ वाइट हेयर एंड दैट डे कॉल ऑल द मिनिस्टर इन सेट आई बिकम ओल्ड दिस एंटायर किंगडम आई वॉन्ट टू गिव टू लॉर्ड राम यस सो दिस इज अ साइन ऑफ ओल्ड एज Now people look in the mirror. Oh, white hair. Let me color it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you color the hair, you will always feel you're young. No? So, a couple of years back, it was my brother's fiftieth uh, birthday. Mm. So then uh, she called, and I called, and I wished her happy birthday. I asked her, "How many years old you are?" She said, "Fifty." I said, "Oh my God, you're going to die very soon." <laughs> and she was like, "You are the only one who reminds me of death." <laughs> All my friends are telling that you no, know, you don't look like you, you know, you have a, such a elder, elderly son. I don't know, who is uh, you now 30 years old. You know, don't look like that. I said they all are keeping an illusion, <laughs> all of them. And literally in this world, that's what people say. You know, live young, be young, die young. Are you pagal? How can you, how can you die young? <laughs> okay, obviously, if bike accident happens if you're young, you can. Uh, this stupidity, huh? Oh, the energy drinks and what not is coming nowadays to keep us young. But the fact is, <laughs> happy birthday to you. To hota hai, right? As soon as someone takes birth, everyone celebrates, and all all people, you know, the relatives come and oh, look at him. His nose is exactly like his father. His eyes are like mother, and this and that. Yes. as for your information as soon as we take birth when our manufacture when the manufacturing of this body happens there is expiry date stamped kisi ko pata nahi kya hai actually no one knows what is that expiry date no one knows hmm? now when we celebrate hmm? <laughs> happy birthday to you now you tell me when we are celebrating happy birthday So what is happening? We are going one step closer to death or one step away from death. So what is celebration? What is celebration in that? Yeah, celebration of death probably. <laughs> celebration of death. <laughs> so you see that every year we are going one step closer to death. Hmm. What new year we can celebrate? करते पता नहीं है. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. I still remember this. You know, thirty first night, twelve o'clock. Anyway, I said this is not our New Year, so I slept. Twelve o'clock. Suddenly, I got up. Just everyone screaming around. Everyone screaming around. No? Then I was thinking that everyone screaming, thinking, "Oh, hey, we are getting one one year closer to death." <laughs> so this is a fact. You know, we all are getting closer to death. But the fact is that the time bomb that is there somewhere, it is ticking right from the time we have taken birth. बट किसी को पता नहीं कितना टाइम सेट हुआ है उसमें बट स्टिल पीपल कीप थिंकिंग आई एम टू लिव लॉन्ग यस सो टाइम डज दिस एवरीथिंग टू दिस वॉट द टाइम डज ना वॉट हैपन इज युधिष्ठिर महाराज युधिष्ठिर महाराज एवर यू नोस पांडवस सो वॉट हैपन इज ही केम इन टच यू नो विथ द यक्षा एंड यक्षा इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन सो वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट यक्षा आस्ट वॉज ओ युधिष्ठिर टेल मी What is the great wonder in this world? This was the question that was asked, and this is the answer that he gave. Please repeat. Ahanya ani bhuta ani. Ahanya ani bhuta ani. Gachanti ha ya malayam. Gachanti ha ya malayam. Shesha stavara michanti. Shesha stavara michanti. Kimascharya matha param. Kimascharya matha param. He is saying, Ahanya ani bhuta ani. Gachanti ya malayam. Every moment, there are so many people dying and going to Yama Layam. This world is called Dukha Alayam. Yama Layam, the place of Yamraj. But then, what is so great about that? So he is saying, Sheshas Thavaram Ichanti. He is saying that many people, every moment, people are dying. You all agree? Now also, when I am speaking, people are dying somewhere. Yes, every some some people are dying. 
he was he is telling to the yaksha you know what is the greatest wonder shesha sthavaram the ones who remain who are alive ichanti they think that i will never die okay kimaschari mathapuram this is the greatest wonder that i see in this world they are almost like goats you know have you seen goats outside the butcher shop yes. goats are tied one goat is taken and you know is killed hmm? and then here the grass is fed and this goat without thinking aram se is eating we are exactly like goats eid ka bakri eid ka bakra exactly like that exactly because we are so much in ignorance so much in ignorance we think are what time hai what time what time sometimes when i meet people on the road distributing bhagavad gita young people they say nahi bhagavad gita time abhi iske liye sometimes i feel you come to my kal chakra class fir pata chala kitna time hai tere paas actually we don't have time therefore i always keep telling all my students that become very serious in bhakti don't slacken increase your rounds increase your commitment you know how i live my day i live my day like this that today is my last day that's how i live my every day mm-hmm. and that's the fact that's why you never know and you know the fact that i joined monkhood one of the reason was this <coughs> i was thinking are bapre any time i can die let me join monkhood then die at least krishna will think acha bachcha tha my mother was you know when i was joining ashram so she was saying who will take care of us you know i am very dear to my mother and i am and she is very dear to me even today so i am mama's boy so the discussion was happening who will take care of us and who will live with us i know i want to live with you etc etc she was telling then i just told her one thing if you can guarantee me that you will die after me i'll i'll stay back no this is not possible i said then for me also it's not possible <laughs> i like <I'll> join <laughs> it's a fact because you know it's a fact that you never know what is going to happen to us who is going to die first who is going to die later right now so much of negative things were spoken is there anything that grows with time let's discuss this now mm-hmm. please repeat neha vikramana shosti neha vikramana shosti pratyavayo na vidyate pratyavayo na vidyate swalpam apyasya dharmasya swalpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhaya trayate mahato bhaya this translation someone read there is no loss or diminution and a little advancement of this path can protect one from the most dangerous kind of fear yes this endeavor now see whatever activities of bhakti we are doing like for example chanting then coming to satsang like this attending aarti having prasad you know what happens every spiritual activity that we do so there is a spiritual deposit that happens in our spiritual bank that's called sukruti a spiritual punya and the speciality of the spiritual punya is this what krishna is talking about see normal bank you deposit then you withdraw no it will be, the deposit will go on decreasing right amount will go on decreasing but spiritual bank is so wonderful there is only deposit there is no withdrawal it means there is no diminution and there is nothing called as being lost is always with us see all of you sitting here in your batch of level 1 you see entire hall was filled and jam pack ekdam prasadam time even packed even more packed <laughs> it's a still mystery in all the iskon centers that how come during prasadam the hall gets filled we are still wondering from where people come pata kis se lage prasad ke time ho gaya anyways now see why a few people are sitting here i can see some 25 people sitting here out of 100 now almost 1/4 right and also when we distribute passes today in our database we have more than 1000 contacts 1000 people have paid 100 rupees they have taken passes from us and they have promised to come but where are they they don't come and there are many people when we go out on roads to distribute passes the bhagavad gita they say i'm not interested so my question to all of you is why is it that you people are the ones who are very interested sitting here hearing me with rapt attention both eyes on me completely i'm observing everyone you know? <laughs> no eyes are no, going like this for some time also fully alert how come how come they are so interested any uh, answer you have seriousness huh you have deposit problem you have deposit yeah uh, seriousness to progress you have seriousness why only you have seriousness past karma past karma 
So in past life also it means you did bhakti? Yes, yes, yes. So some deposit you had done? Yes, yes. And that deposit is increasing now? Yes. But past life may Matlab, hum perfect you need fear. Why didn't we perfect our life in the past life? Well, we were there in bhakti, you all agree, no? It means. Yes, yes. Today, if you are inclined to practice bhakti, out of so many thousands of people, you few chosen people are here, 25 people sitting here. My question is that if you people sitting here, is he said seriousness is there in all of you all? Yes. You are eager to know, so you are sitting. You are liking also and you are asking questions and all that. So my question is that for past life, you are you are a devotee. It is not first time attending Gita class. Then why are you doing perfect past life? We wasted. Huh? Wasted. And? The previous karma of that. <laughs> okay. Because I think in this life we have seen people who don't follow bhakti, we have seen their lifestyle. And we don't want to be like them. But in past life, I am damn sure you might have seen. Past life also you might have seen. We are blessed with past life. We didn't do the perfect. Yes, that's what my question is. Why you didn't perfect? Good. And the only answer is we did time pass. No? See, bhakti path is very straight. I always give this analogy. Ek is straight. You know what you're supposed to do on the path of bhakti? Keep walking. You just keep walking. Even if you fall, here it is given in Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a nice shloka which says that on the path of bhakti, if you close your eyes and run, you'll reach the destination. No need to open eyes also. But there is a problem. Road is there, but on the side of the road, there are many stalls. Pani Puri. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Pani Puri and then Madhu Loka. Yes. And then some other things. You know what happens? Every life we have done this. Every life. Chal rahe, chal rahe, and then just bula rahe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you are going like this, like this. <laughs> you know what happens when you take a detour? You know what happens? You are out of that path. And then there, some devotees will come and distribute path and again bring you back on this path. And then few more steps, again, chuk chuk, and then this is what is happening every life. Every life this is happening with all of us, with all of us. See, all of us are eager to practice bhakti. All of us want to advance, isn't it? All of us want to be spiritually realized. Aisa koi nahi hai haan jab bol raha hai, Prabhu ji, aisi mein time pass ke liya raha hum. And there's so many nasty things outside for time pass. Why you need to come for a satsang for time pass, correct? So I am damn sure everyone sitting here is special and no one is here for time pass. You are here to understand how to advance in spiritual life. Hmm. But even after having this, the mind tricks us so badly. Chale jate koi stall pe. Pani puri stall, cigarette stall, you know, some peg mar ke aana hai. And then we tell other people also, you know your mentors, ek peg mar ke aata <laughs> But once we get, go out of this path, no, we get completely lost, completely lost. Therefore, I always keep telling that, uh, you know, ideally, if you don't get married, best, but most of you will get married because not everyone can remain a monk. I always tell, if you want to marry, marry a devotee, don't marry a non-devotee girl. Marry a devotee girl who is chanting 16 rounds, yes, and you know, who is practicing nicely. For that, you have to practice nicely. Your expectation is higher, you are devotee, you are a non-devotee, how do you Right? So marrying a devotee is very very important. Then there will be some scope of practicing bhakti together after marriage. No, then it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Then next life, it's gone, Gita goes, level 1, 2. My God, I tell you. Marry a Krishna conscious devotee, is it necessary or any devotee? Abhi, see, you are practicing is gone. So if a devotee resonates with you with principles in ISKCON, then it will be easy. You know? Then it will be easy. Then both of you can come together to satsang. I know one devotee, couple, husband is a devotee, wife is not. So when he comes for satsang, so before going to satsang, coming for satsang, he drops his wife to some kitty party somewhere, then he comes alone. He says, how is going to go? What will it be good for kitty party? Kitty party? Kitty party? So how will people become bhakti? Correct, no? Very serious matter, by the way. Very serious matter. Anyways, we have this uh, premarital training and all that. So, the ones who are eager to marry, we'll go on that. Hey, Barbadi, who can stop? We've already stopped. We've already stopped. 
Anyways, now coming back to this point. So all of you, logically, we have discussed, scientifically we have discussed how we were devotees in the past. We are continuing because that deposit was there and so that eagerness is still there. And with time, when you do more and more devotional service, what will happen is your eagerness, your faith will go on increasing. Your commitment will go on increasing. But endeavor is very important. If you are not endeavoring, then to bhool jaiye. That is very difficult. If you are not sincere for these sessions, then forget it. So now the question is, where should I invest my time? What will remain with me forever? This body is not going to remain with us. The money that we are earning is not going to remain with us. Yes. Kitna bhi jama kar do bank mein. Can you take even a penny with you? I'll tell you a story. There's a king who was thinking. He was very proud of having everything. A sage decided, isko nanga karna hai. Let me make him humble. So one day the sage you know, came running. Oh king, bad news for you. I said, what is that? He said, you will die very soon. And after some days again he came running. Oh king, I've got good news for you. I said, oh, what is that? After you die, you're going to go to heavenly planet. And he said, oh, amazing. Chalo. Some solace is there that I'll not become an animal. I'll go and become a heavenly person. After a few days, again he came running and he said, you know, loudly, he shouted, bad news, O king, bad news. And he said, what happened? I'm not going to heaven. No, no, you're going to heaven. But in the heaven, there are a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, he said, no, no, I have a good news also. There is a mosquito net. But a bad news. There's a big hole in that. <laughs> now, king is sitting like this and he's coming, are you good, bad, good, bad, kya chal raha is ka? So at that time, the king asked, you tell me what to do now. Hmm. So the sage said, see when you die, thread is available, take a needle from here. <laughs> and the king said, amazing, I'll do that. <laughs> and after he said that, he started thinking, hey, needle, how will I take it? I cannot take anything from this world, I cannot take anything from this world. At that time the sage said, are yehi to bol rahao, pagle. You cannot take anything from this world. You accumulate whatever you want. You want to live, leave everything here and go alone. Go alone. Yes. It is described in a very nice shloka. It is said, uh, what is that? Dhanani bhaumau pashuvascha goshte. It is said that previously people would bury their wealth. You all know that? Yes. yes. So it is a dhanani, when someone dies, dhanani bhaumav. So it will remain in the earth only. Now we can maybe translate that as dhanani banke. Bank mein jayega. Pashuascha goshte. Previously, the vehicles was what? Pashu. Horses, elephants and all. So when someone dies, pashus will remain in the goshta. In their, uh, wherever they are kept. So now we can say that, that pashuascha parking lot. Car will remain there. Bharya grihadwari. When someone is married and uh, he dies, husband dies, the three, the wife cannot go beyond the door of the house. That's the etiquette. So she cannot go with the body to crematorium. She has to stand there. Bharya Grihadwari Jana Smashane and all the relatives will come till Smashan, Samshan Ghat, crematorium. Bharya Grihadwari Jana Smashane Deha Chitaya. Deha Chitaya. This Deha will remain only till Chita. Till the body is burnt. Mm -hmm. Then it is said, Deha Chitaya Paraloka Marge Gachanti Eka Jeeva. It is said that everything is gone, including this body. The person who is going to go on the journey is only the spirit soul. Baki sab rahe gai. Is life mein jo darling thi, wo to chali gai. Agla life mein dusri darling. <laughs> anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is everything that we want to amass, we want to leave here, leave everything here. But the spiritual credits will never go in vain. Everything will be carried life after life after life. And that will actually give us eagerness to understand more and go deeper in spiritual life. So we should be very careful where we are investing time. Every day, every day, at least one or two hours we should invest in spiritual life. Every day. Very, very important. We cannot take it lightly. We cannot take it lightly. Can you imagine we are investing 24 hours in that activity which enemies we want to lose. Can you imagine? We are not actually very intelligent investors. 
See, when you're investing money, you will see, right, where you will get maximum benefit. Correct, no? Yes. Now, when we're investing our time, we are not very intelligent. We are not very intelligent. Everyone in this world, not just you people, everyone in this world. Everyone in this world. Hmm? There is a nice video. There's a well-known story about a university professor who wanted to make a point about how we make the most of our time. The professor stood before his class with some items in front of him. When the class began, without speaking, he picked up a large empty jar and proceeded to fill it with rocks about two inches in diameter. He then asked the students if the jar was full. They agreed that it was full. So the professor then picked up a box of pebbles and poured them into the jar. He shook the jar lightly and watched as the pebbles rolled into the open areas between the rocks. The professor then asked the students again if the jar was full. They chuckled and agreed that it was indeed full this time. The professor picked up a box of sand and poured it into the jar. The sand filled the remaining open areas of the jar. Now, said the professor, I want you to recognize that this jar signifies your life. The rocks are the truly important things, such as family, health, and relationships. If all else was lost, and only the rocks remained, your life would still be meaningful. The pebbles are the other things that matter in your life, such as work or school. The sand signifies the remaining small stuff and material possessions. If you were to put sand into the jar first, there is no room for the rocks or the pebbles. The same can be applied to your lives. If you spend all your time and energy on the small stuff, you will never have room for the things that are truly important. Pay attention to the things in life that are critical to your happiness and well-being. Take time to look after your health, play with your children, go for a run, write a letter to your grandmother. There will always be time to go to work, clean the house or watch TV. Take care of the rocks first. The things that really matter set your priorities. The rest is just pebbles and sand. How's that? Yes. See, these big rocks represent, you know, various important things that we do, like relationships. One of the relationship which we have to revive is relationship with Lord Krishna. We have lost that relationship. So if we invest good amount of time in reviving that relationship. See, if you want to build a relationship with someone, you have to just spend time. Bus. Correct? Just spend time. So when you spend time with the Lord by chanting, by reading Bhagavad Gita and other things, automatically what will happen is our lost relationship will be revived. And only because that relationship is actually missing now, we are actually into suffering. Actually into various feeling of hollowness and this and that and all nonsense. Once that connection gets established, everything else will be taken care of. So our job as devotees is to establish or reconnect with the Lord. My last presentation or last slide is this, time management. Many times people ask, Prabhuji, how to manage time? So Bhagavad Gita talks about it. Please repeat. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Na Shochati Na Kamshati Samaha Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Labhate Param Read the translation. One who thus transcendentally situated at once to realize the Supreme Brahma Brahman and become full charitable. He never laments or desires to have anything. He is equally disposed toward every living entity. In, the, in that state, he attains pure devotional service and service. Yes. See here, why the time management is not effective for everyone? In childhood, have you made timetable and stuck on your table? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and have you not followed that? <laughs> never. <laughs> two, days, two days. I agree. One day, two day, max one week, some good students. So, what is why time management is not effective? Mm -hmm. The same time is there with everyone in this world. Some people are very effective, some people are not. And if you see spiritualists, my God, it feels like they have 48 hours a day. So many things they do. So many things. At least I see my superiors. How many activities I do in a day? So many classes, so many meetings, and so many counseling, and this and that. Mm -hmm. So, what happens is, here it is given, Shochati and Kangshati. In the current, in the present moment, like all of you sitting here, two things will keep happening. Shochati, we keep thinking about the past and keep lamenting about the past. I should have done like this, this happened, that happened, etc. etc. Kangshati is thinking about the future and hankering for the future. 
Now, as soon as Prabhuji finishes the class, I'll do this, 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 this. Tomorrow I'll do this. Tomorrow is Sunday. Prasad me kya hoga? So you see, we are sitting here, but then Shochati Kangshati, Shochati Kangshati. So always this will keep happening. So in the corporate, there's a buzzword called being in the moment, be in the present moment. So that person can effectively utilize time who is in the moment, in the moment. If you're not in the moment, if you're always in the past or in the future, to present me aphe hi To present ka time kaise utilize karenge? Impossible. Look at Bhagavad Gita, how practical it is. My God, amazing. So such a person who has no shocha, na sochati, na kaamshati, he is Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. He is on the spiritual platform. He is the most happiest person. Effectively utilizing time. Effectively utilizing time. Only this we have to cater to. This we have to fix very properly. Na shochati, na kaamshati. Now the question is, kare tu kaise kare abhi isko? How to be in the present? Because full life, we are always thinking about the past or future. Present moment, even here, I'm sure most of you, maybe I can say all of you, at least once, you went outside this room without opening the door. And you came back and you sat here. Correct? Yes, everyone. Everyone. So, this is how we are. Therefore, it is said, that anyone who does spiritual practice, that person can be in the moment. Otherwise, it's not possible. Like for example, when you're chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Now, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, what is the practice all about? You're chanting and you're trying to be in the moment because you're trying to hear that mantra that you're chanting. So with time, when you increase your rounds, with time, when you become more and more serious in spiritual life, this quality will come being in the moment. And therefore, I have seen so many of my students, so many superiors of mine, they are so effective in utilizing time because of this quality of being in the moment. Right? Therefore, these are the different activities that will help you to cultivate this thought or this mood of being in the moment. Chanting the Hare Krishna Mahantra every day. Reading Bhagavad Gita and other prescribed books. Look at today's session. Lagra na level 2? Lagra, chik. So, look at today's session. Everything was spoken from Shastra. Look at the knowledge that is there. Look at the wisdom that is there. Now, when we have this wisdom, firstly, we will become humble. Today, we discussed that. We will be conscious of time. We will understand the importance of not accumulating things in this world. We will understand the importance of spiritual life. Look at the benefits by reading scriptures. Hearing from pure devotees and coming to satsang like this. See, when you are alone, you might be the alien there. Correct? It seems like, oh, man, everyone is talking on the phone. No one is talking on the phone. Maybe mentor will call me and talk to him. Yes. Everyone is planning what to do on the weekend. So, all this thought will be an alien there. Correct. But when you come to satsang like this, can you imagine you are sitting with those chosen people who are so eager to practice bhakti. Here we get the strength. So therefore I always say Saturday evening session is a booster injection which remains till Wednesday and Thursday. Uske at kam ho jata hai. Saturday ye thought aata hai. Jau ki nahi. <laughs> Therefore, I have told all the mentors, you know, call these people. Call these people on Thursday, Friday. Do you get call on Thursday, Friday? Yes. Because I have requested all the mentors. Please call. Because I am fully confident that the booster injection, you know, dose is finished on Wednesday, Thursday. So, the call comes, then, oh, yes, I have to go. Have you experienced this? Yes. Yes, all of you? Yes. So, this satsang is very, very important. These festival of enlightenment sessions are very, very important. If you miss this, for a week or two, it's almost like detour. Where we kabhi aayenge, pata nahi, this life, after the marriage or after death, next life, you never know how, when you'll come back to this road of devotional service. So with this, I would like to stop here. If you have any questions, please ask. See, this is the platform where you can ask anything and everything. Okay? So please ask, because when you become more, abhi jab level 3 mein jayenge, it's not level 1 wala aapke juniors hai na? Come and ask questions. Prabhu Ji, tell me a little bit. So what do you say? I didn't ask any questions. I didn't ask any questions. I had asked a lot of questions to my mentor. Even today he remembers, you know, as a person asking a lot of questions. So, little bit I'm able to answer of whatever you people ask. Yeah. Thank you for the class.
how is it in uh, how to respond in a difficult time to like a insult shame or short temper how to respond you no know, to people when we are angry and shame and short tempered see for a spiritualist i don't know i think that session is not covered for you all anger one letter short of danger that session is there so what happens is normally when we become angry there is only one scientific thing that happens have you heard about response and stimulus yes. hmm? have you seen that mimosa plant touch me not plant you touch and then yes. closes so stimulus is what your touch response is closing right so what happens is there is a stimulus and there is a response correct so when all of us you know when we are triggered when our ego is hurt firstly we feel that we are something today we understand we are nothing so till the point is nothing does not go inside we'll keep thinking we are something then when someone says and points that you don't have this thing ego is hurt then what happens when the ego hurts that person speaking is stimulus and there's a immediate response and that's anger and we shout we beat or whatever right so this will happen with normal people public outside for spiritualists you know what happens this space that gets created so there's stimulus and there's a response and there's a space in between to think this thinking space develops for a spiritualist only others others don't you know i was a very very short tempered person very short tempered when i used to come back from school and if my snacks are not ready i will like blast the entire house including my mother you know literally and all glories to shila prabhupad guru parampara and shila shri shri radha and krishna that they helped me to you know calm down but even today when i get angry um, good <laughs> but the frequency is very less very very less because this is what i have experienced in my life that with spiritual practice the space becomes bigger and bigger sometimes the space is for few minutes as you all are beginning or few seconds maybe at least you are able to think then few minutes and then few days few weeks i still remember my mentor i did some mistake and then next year what happened is i went to him someone else did that same mistake i was not knowing i did that mistake i went to him and i said probably this has happened what to do then he told me last year at this time you had done this mistake now bhap re space is like here <laughs> he waited one year to correct me can you imagine can you imagine so space of a spiritualist will go on increasing with time provided you are a sincere serious spiritualist when that space increases then you can actually respond or else you just react answer the question prabhu aapka naam prabhu rajesh rajesh you are my friend navin ha ha so uh, something i like confused uh, in specific moment what this is going to take that may be wrong that may be uh, right. so how can this we know uh, that could we give the perfect basis okay mind? so there are two options which one to choose how to make a decision okay. since you all are level to students and very eager to practice bhakti this answer will help you so in the two situation we have to ask this question which will take me closer to krishna any situation ask this question which will take me closer to krishna and if you get option a taking closer to krishna choose it or option b takes you closer to krishna choose that and this helps a lot because when you make a decision to get closer to the lord lord also helps you know to move ahead on that path move ahead on that path because finally goal of life is what you know we have to attain krishna you have to attain the lord right that's the goal of life so any decision that you make in life you have to ask this question which will take me closer to krishna and you know if the answer is whatever whichever option choose that at least i do that it helps a lot ek dam quickly we can make a decision and finish it off finish it off yeah. but prabhu ji there are consequences and repercussions that's okay krishna will take care see finally goal you are very fixed with goal no mm-hmm. you want to attain krishna now what is the use of choosing something else and becoming prosperous and going away from krishna tell me what is the use of that and another very important thing jo prarabdh mein utna hi milega whatever we are destined to get that much only we will get right so at least a good decision we are making at least we are getting closer to krishna see always remember this line we will never get what we don't deserve be it good or bad 
you might be hankering a lot that I want this position and this promotion, this appraisal, this uh, bonus. If you deserve, you will get. If you don't deserve, anyways, kuch bhi kar lo, haath pair maar lo, nahi milega. And similarly, if something negative is happening in life, it means we deserve. Just accept it. Just accept it. But there are uh, means, uh, when it comes to you, you can uh, like withstand those repercussions or consequences. But sometimes it depends on others also. Do we really feel that we have power to change others' karma? Think about it. I accepted your question. Because of our karmas, there are repercussions That's what, consequences on others. That's what I'm saying. That Do we have enough power to change someone else's karma, what they actually deserve? Think about it. See, something I'm doing, and your question is that will affect someone. If that person does not deserve, how will he get affected? Actually, we don't have any power to change anyone's karma. Kuch bhi nahi kar sakte. Aur unke life mein kuch ho hai, negative ya positive, wo unka karma hai. It's foolishness to say something good happens and you know we say, oh, it's because of me. Mm-hmm. So one of uh, one of our spiritual one of our spiritual master, he has gone to so some person, you know, he uh, he fainted, one of the devotee, and he was taken to hospital. And then the doctor cured him, and then he came back. And then you know this devotee, he said, oh, you know, all by Lord's mercy. Hmm. The doctor got offended. He said, hey, I cured him. And then this devotee said, you're a murderer. <laughs> hey, what are you saying? Do people die in your hospital? He said, yes. Then you are the one who killed? He said, no, no. That... <laughs> you know, this is how we behave. This is how duplicit we are. Ekdam hypocrite. If you take good credit, you will get bad. You will get bad. But the fact is, we can actually not do anything to anyone. If something is happening in our life and we just keep blaming because of him, Aray, nahi hai, son. Ho hi nahi sakta. Wo bande mein power hai nahi. Because he cannot change what I deserve. He cannot. Answer your question. You are saying something. Yes. Uh, is it, uh, no, I'll take your questions. Uh. Is it human, uh, we practice the God will be perfect. We have to achieve the God will be perfect. Uh, 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 Four. Mm-hmm. That is uh, Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Ashtanga Yoga, Bhakti Yoga. That is the third session. Okay, so why do we practice something Bhakti That session you will understand. So two parts are there, part one, part two, yoga ladder. Don't dare to miss this. Firstly, you cannot miss any of the session of level two. Okay? If you miss because of your health or whatever, you are expected to watch the video and send the notes. I personally check the attendance and I ask mentors. So make sure that this is done because even if you miss one session, is a big loss. Like for example, yoga ladder. That's such a technical topic. No? Karma yoga kya hai? People feel whatever they do, it's karma yoga. So what is karma yoga? What is jnana yoga? What is ashtanga yoga? And what is bhakti yoga? People feel, you know, kuch bhi kiya to bhakti yoga. So when you go understand from Bhagavad Gita, technically then you'll understand what is what. So I'm going to cover that. And we'll understand why bhakti yoga is very practical in this age of Kali. We'll discuss that. And someone, huh? Ah, all my intelligent students sitting here, please answer. His question is that after death, so will we be born the same yuga or different yuga? Same yuga. Same yuga. Everyone says same yuga. Yes. Yes. Now my question is, what if you know we go to some heavenly planet and then come back? There's a time zone difference of time. Hmm? So because here, here six months, that is one day there. Hmm? In heavenly planet. Or if you are in hell, again time zone difference. Yes. So may or may not. May or may not. Ideally, as everyone said, mm-hmm. this yoga itself. Yes. If not, then. Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Very effective. <laughs> <laughs> So actually it's a practice, don't worry, keep practicing, it will happen. I used to sleep late and get up very late, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Now we sleep late, get up early. <laughs> now the waking up time is 3.30, 3.45. Now we are trying to sleep early and get up early. So that tug of war is going on. Huh. Sometimes it happens that we are put into a sleep. So just time, what's your name? Venkat. 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 Suppose the situation is like one of 
my life. I am given example that somebody's mother is ill and somebody's guru is ill. So how the person will take this decision? Who should I visit first? And who should I take care of? So whichever takes me closer to Krishna. So I mean, then closer to Krishna, I am just bringing to the picture. So what's your opinion? Which one will be the closer to Krishna? Mother or guru? See, it's uh, up to the person's conviction in Krishna consciousness. If, you know, say a person is not a fixed up devotee, hmm? so he going to a guru will not be a good decision because he will become an anxiety. Going there, he will be thinking about his mother. Yes, better you go to the mother. If a person is a fixed up devotee, understands Krishna will take care, let me go to guru and check with him. Take blessings from him for the curing my mother also. If he has that faith, then going to guru is the right thing. So in that situation, According to the consciousness level, level of the person, he is supposed to ask this question, which will take me closer to question. Because unnecessarily getting disturbed is a problem. Understanding? So he shouldn't get disturbed unnecessarily, choosing some option. Looking at his level, his level he should decide. Whatever. And there, you know, a lot of uh, these sessions will help in you know, various situations. But ideally going to Guru is what is recommended. With his blessing is what will actually help. Mm -hmm. Again, coming to the same point. We cannot change anything in anyone's life. Actually, parents' life, what will you change? We cannot change anything. Many times, uh, people, there are uh, boys who are interested to join monkhood. But there is a tension that is there who will take care of parents. I always ask this question hmm, that, okay, you are interested, so I am not telling this to those people. And then, I say, okay, so say today you die. So will your parents die tomorrow? Or same day? Oh, my son died, let me die. Who will take care of me? No, they will sustain. This world goes on, everyone is on an individual journey. Everyone has his own bag of karma. Aap now us bag se kuch nikal sakte hain, now us bag mein kuch dal sakte hain. Everyone is on their own journey. Everyone on their own journey. So it doesn't matter. Like that. So we should always look on how I can progress spiritually. That's very important. So like how to get confidence? Like uh, whenever like uh, I'm feeling with a person who has very good knowledge and uh, the person is like, uh, materially, spiritually. Spiritually and materially both. Like I uh, always feel like one they will think. Like uh, if I ask them that question is right or wrong. So always like there will be a confusion. So, so what they will think, this question will come when we are still stuck with our false ego. So when we practice bhakti nicely and understand we are nothing and stay humble, the person will be very bold. I have seen people are very bold, you know, the spiritual uh, the devotees are so bold. They speak anywhere and everywhere. How does it matter? What does it matter? They don't think. But yes, if there is spiritual authority in front of us, we should act over smart. We should act like a fool only in front of them. So when you go in front of the spiritual master, Shastra say, be a fool in front of the spiritual master. Then you can learn more. If you act more smart, then spiritual master will think, anyway, it's going to come, so what will you tell? He will say, okay, go, we'll do whatever you want. Like that. Uh -huh. Like you told that we are in... 28 of Kali. So that what, what is the proof like? We have Shastra, we have. Shastra is so perfect in this, uh, by the way, 14 Manuvantara as I said, no? in one day of Brahma, this 7th Manuvantara. So past 7 Manuvantaras, all the details are given. Who was Indra, who were different demigods. And it is so amazing, next 7 Manuvantaras also it is given. Who is going to be what? Hmm? And this is also given, 28th Devi Yoga of 7th Manuvantara. Like that. Yeah. Shastra. See, the thing is, when Vyasadeva is writing, because he wrote it at the end of the upper yoga, so he's writing in this yoga only. He knows. But the thing is, probably, uh, you told for 10 years, for 10,000 years, it will remain a bhakti and all, like we will Correct, to, correct, correct. But after it, it will destroy everything. Correct. So nobody will worship. Nobody, there will be very, very few. Very, very few. Very few. And with time, like, everyone will destroy. Correct. Yeah, and Shastra will also destroy. And who will take that? Uh, the and all. Very few people will remain who will preach the knowledge and there will be extremely few you know, who will uh, take up to bhakti after 10,000 years. For your information, there is a prophecy. Now there is a golden period that is going on. The golden period of 10,000 years mm -hmm. which we are into now. So in these 10,000 years, it's very easy to practice bhakti. And in these 10,000 years, bhakti is going to increase. Mm -hmm. And it's described, and Iskon will be there for 10,000 years only. And after that, it is described that how degradation of bhakti is going to happen. I mean, you know, people will be very less will be practicing. And more people will be atheistic. Now itself you can see you know, how atheistic crowd is increasing with time. 
Just imagine after 10,000 years what can happen. So very few people will be having that knowledge. After, like, do you like, uh, we'll get again in Satyavu? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Satyavu again revival will happen. Yeah. Ah, what's your name? Mohit. Mohit. Probably is the time travel is possible? What do you all say? Time travel is possible? Time travel. Means going back in the past. Or going back or going in future. Future is not going to be able to go back. Going back to past. Is it possible? No. Why? Consciousness of people isn't that much. Okay. There are mantras there. And the level of yoga you have to do. But we can go go to the past? We can go but now we can't. Okay. More, more logical answer. Materialistically, it's not possible. Why? But like, uh, like, like uh, there was a book called Prabhupada, Easy Journey to Other Planets. So, like somewhere... But he talks about going to different planets. He doesn't talk about going to past. Yeah. Can we go to past? Answer is no. Now tell me why no. Because uh, Krishna tells that uh, uh, I am the forgetfulness, I am the remembrance. And, uh, okay, that's okay. okay. So, if we have a powerful lens, how we can go past? Okay, see, the thing is, in material world, everything is temporary, no? Yes? So, there's no question of going to past, everything is destroyed anyways. Mm. You cannot do time travel to past. And there's no question of time, time travel to future. Because anyways, you know, we are going to go. Yes. But a travel to others, time zones is possible. Like heavenly planets. Higher planetary system, still Brahma Loka. That is possible. And how is that possible? Not using space, you know, our spaceships. Through Punya. Through Punya, the person can travel to you know, different uh, planets like that. The past may past the past. Ko dekh sakte. Ah, correct. Past ko dekh sakte. Any astrologer can also see our past. Obviously, they can change. I was saying that who can change karma? Kisi ka? Who in this world has the power to change karma except Krishna and Guru? No one. Congratulations, you got the right realization. Unnecessarily, people are kept in illusion. To be frank, when I saw that movie, Jobi movie, tha, I forgot the name. So, in my childhood, I used to think, I'll go and change the past like this. <laughs> What had happened is, there was some paper, I think maths paper, I just lost one mark, you know, for out of, 100 out of 100. That was 99 I had got. I used to always keep thinking. Wo mistake hua tha, I'll go to pass and change it. So this stupidity. Matab, this, can you see how media is keeping us in illusion? Matab, facts don't tell us how to die. We don't say anything about this. Just tell us, cream, laga, wo karo, sab rahega, you'll be young, live young, die young. Yes, go to pass, change the past. Kya, kya, nonsense. This is what it shows that how much people are in ignorance and how people are kept in ignorance for their own profit. Is there a movie? Banai jata ek dom. Faltu ek dom. Faltu. So, if time machine is banana hai, to wo faltu mein paisa hai. Obviously. Oh, and see, they are they are trying to make that black hole and all that. That's all time waste. Abhi to bataye ki Mahavishnu ke pore se nikla. Mahavishnu ka pore kaise dhoondne ke log? Oh, oh. God particle, they say God particle, but they don't worship God. <laughs> My God. And they talk about a black hole, you know, which has got zero radius, you know, this temperature, that which cannot be manifested in this world. Such a time waste, I tell you. Such a time waste. It's go get the scientific advancement. Huh. Huh, yeah. So, for example, uh, after coming to here, we, we get to know that uh, the different modes, like ignorance, you know, like it. So, uh, can we, uh, like, uh, for example, if someone, uh, some person who was doing, uh, like, some activity, so we get to know that he is in the mood of ignorance. So, when he is trying to come back to us or, like, something. Help. Uh, to take some help. help means, like, uh, when they turn, turn into goodness or something. So, for example, uh, they used to be uh, some uh, bad persons. Now, if they come, uh, okay. change into good person. So, should we accept them or, uh, like, uh, uh, how come we... Actually, a spiritualist will never reject anyone. So there's no question of acceptance. Because spiritualist will never reject anyone. Because he understands there's a mode of ignorance mein, kabhi na kabhi mode of goodness mein gai. So spiritualist will never give a tag called bad person. Because he understands anyways the modes are going to change. 
Yeah, that's right. So, so if uh, so, we can simply consider that he he has been in a mode of ignorance. Ah, ignorance. Yeah, that's called maturity of spiritual life. See, a spiritually mature person, no, will never uh, think bad about anyone. He just think, ah, okay, mode of ignorance, me, no one. That's why they don't take offense. They just forgive and forget. But a materialist who himself is in ignorance will remember everything in life. पच्चीस साल पहले तूने मुझे आधा गुलाब जामुन नहीं दिया था। Literally there are people, you know, मैं आपके शादी में आए, मैं आया था और आई थी। You didn't greet me nicely, I'm not going to come. Ten years back की बातें people remember. That's a ignorance, the stupidity. See, this is what is called as making your perspective broad coming to bhakti. Only by coming to bhakti ये होगा, नहीं तो नहीं होने वाला। बहुत मुश्किल है, बहुत मुश्किल। Yeah, any anything else, हाँ? We are making a new habit. Sometimes we continue like one month, sometimes four months, sometimes six months, and then we could see that that goal is not important. So for bhakti, how can how can we like uh, we continue to the rest of the life? Association, association. See, association will keep us alive in bhakti. If association is not there, then gone. I say, I'll tell you. No, I had uh, some of my friends. So when I was in college. In my hostel room, I used to conduct classes, morning and evening. So morning few people will come, evening around 10-15 people will come. It was a small room. In the laptop only, I'll show PPT and give class. So in that, around 6 to 7 people, they became serious. In 6 months, they gave up non-veg, alcohol. They came to 16 rounds. Can you imagine? 16 rounds, every day. 6 months. And then we all got placed in Bangalore. So I told them, we live in the same place. No one heard. They said, no, no, we'll stay close to our respective places and this and that. And with time, you know, I, I was knowing what is going to happen with time because that's what happens every time. So with time, they were saying 16 rounds. 16 say 8, 8 say 0. <laughs> 0. Again, they got back to alcohol and meat eating and gone, life gone. Gone. Association. But love, even, see, when I shifted from, uh, when I got placed here, when I came first time to Bangalore, First thing that I did was I called all the ISKCON members to ask which is the closest base, closest place where I can stay, you know, to, closest to my office. So this was the closest, 12 kilometers away. I was traveling every day, one, one and a half, hour, half hours, every day I used to travel. Because I was knowing if I have to stay in bhakti, I have to stay in the association. No, it can't We cannot advance only people. You people, you see yourself, no. Now you people are full energetic. Yeah. Last life, you know, this, I'll be doing bhakti, I'll be doing sola mala. But when, once you go to PG, what happens? Ekna phus. Puri hawa nikal jati hai. Why association? So this is one of the base. This is the 4BHK bungalow where our devotees stay. Around 10 of them stay here. They have this specific morning program. Everyone gets up at 4. 4.30 is the first aarti that happens here. Everyone sits, chants from 5 o'clock, not to, sorry, 5 to 5.30 is a class, early morning. 5.30 to 7.30, everyone chants 16 rounds sitting here together, all 10 of them. And then they come to have breakfast, pack lunch, go to office, come back, have dinner, and then you know, do services, sleep. This is called must schedule. So such schedule is needed. That's why I keep telling at least you people you should stay close by, nearby. And keep coming you know, on the evenings at least. We have something called as Prasad member. Anyone who chants four rounds, we allow them to take Prasad regularly. So like you can give some donation, that's fixed donation for a month. And then morning, afternoon, evening, you can take prasad. But four rounds is mandatory for that. Because it's not a mess, no? It is for you know, helping people to practice bhakti. Like that. So this is very important. At least for you all, staying close is very important. It's a Mara Thilli, Belandur, Domlur, Sab Rehke, Mushki like that. So your answer is association. Huh. Yeah, yeah, very good. And at that time, you didn't get any experience of the joining my food. I didn't get sad. I was fearful of death. <laughs> <laughs> see, no tension in my life. I was, see, one logic I'll tell you. What I was thinking at that time when I was joining Ashram. I was thinking, Lord is feeding ants. Correct? Milligrams of food. Lord is feeding elephants in African jungles which every day they need tons of food. I was thinking, why Lord will not provide me three chapatis a day? Or no, nine chapatis a day, if three, three I eat, he will give. <laughs> he is taking care of so many parents, why will he not take care of my parents? He will. He will. Hmm? He will. 
no and my mother was asking this question i was telling her i think for you all i told i don't know for you all if i told so what happened is recently my parents had come and uh, some ancestral property they were selling my sign was needed so i went and uh, we had a nice time so uh, at one point uh, so my grandmother when she got to know i'm coming home she called all the relatives come come our boy has become swami come take his darshan <laughs> those people on whose lap i passed stool and even all of them came to take my blessings <laughs> so i was sitting and everyone came and, I, and we had lunch there were few who were like behind me please come to our house please keep your charan in our house <laughs> and i was feeling so awkward you know because i had played they were the ones who you know helped me to grow and after that everyone sat and then you know they said we are happy that you become a swami but still you know if you'd have been at home taking care of parents it would have been good So while coming in the car to that place, you know, my uh, my mother and brother they were telling that right from the time you've gone out of the house, we are very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so I told all the relatives this is what you know they said. You know, then my mother explained seriously. That time they were joking. Seriously, they explained when this boy was actually joining Brahmacharya Ashram, he had told when I asked the question, "Who will take care of us?" He said, "Krishna will take care of you," and I had actually told with full confidence. and then my mother was telling to all the relatives actually krishna is taking care of everyone in our family she said that everything whatever we need krishna is taking care so they were very happy they were very happy so that faith was there krishna will take care even now it is there by the mercy of guru and krishna that faith that krishna will take actually he is only taking care no what can we do you know to ourselves others so this faith comes you know when by the blessings of superiors so like that i never worried about i was earning a lakh per month at that time yes it was very nice my bus would come here nearby to ibc i just board the bus they'll drop me there first i'll go and take some rest and then get up do some work go out and for a walk hear some class <laughs> read some book work for some time come back dot 5:30 early never i'd extended my time and like that two years was very blissful very blissful. then when i resigned and i was coming in the bus i was thinking are Why did I resign? Everything was good. <laughs> <laughs> But the one thing was there in the heart that you know, human life is rare. Let me do something for others. Let me help others. I thought, let me sacrifice. That helped, like that. No fear. <laughs> I always say, you know, that no worry in presence of hurry. <laughs> no worry in presence of hurry. Any last question? It's already three minutes remaining, huh? Uh, so they are giving shraddha so if okay. they are spiritual then why do they why do they are humble then why do they not tolerate actually uh, in case of durva samani this happens in case of uh, uh, i forgot the name vashishta muni it has happened so all these sages they were got angry at some points but if you properly analyze today's path mochni ekadashi and in this uh, the katha of this path yeah someone yeah so see in this entire thing no if you properly analyze the curse of that sage becomes a benediction for that person like narad muni what happened is there were two personalities you know that is mani griva and nala kuvera they were sons of kuvera and they were they were taking bath naked way you know with other naked girls in a pond so narad muni came girls covered themselves you know but these two were thinking are you know ye sadhu isko yahi aana tha they just stood like that so narad muni he cursed them in an angry way that you want to be naked become trees and they were made trees in the angan of nanda maharaj's house so krishna would be hiding behind those trees and you know whatever so one day when krishna was bound with the wooden landing motor he crossed beyond the two trees and they fell yes. and they attained the divine position again went back so the curses of divine personalities the sages is actually a benediction in disguise it's not a curse like that because that curse you might see but then you see the future also what happened to that person then you will see that it was a curse in disguise vaisa it's a uh, you can also say that it's a plan of the lord mm-hmm. for the sage also and for others also who are involved in that particular curse theek hai thank you very much level 2 lag raha hai na yes. requesting again please don't miss any session mm-hmm. so next session is again a very important session called karma in depth karma session we attended right karma in depth we want to talk about that how a person is stuck in the cycle of addiction 
Why is he not able to come out? See, there karma we discussed about next birth and this and that. But here we are going to discuss karma on the subtle platform. Why is it that you know some people are not able to give up addictions? Why is it that some people are lusty right from childhood? Why is that some people are like greedy and not able to give up their greed? How to overcome all that? So it's a very very important topic, and we are going to discuss uh, terms like prarabdha karma, a prarabdha, kutam, bijam. We are going to go very technical next next session. So don't miss. Very very important session. Okay. So if you miss by any chance, please make notes and send the photos to your mentor. They'll send it to me. Okay, then you are allowed for the next session after that. Another thing, chanting. At least after today's session, at least four rounds you people should start chanting. Half an hour it will take. You are taking more than you are not chanting properly. You should take seven and a half minutes for one round. You are taking more, it means you are not focusing. If you are taking less, it means you are not pronouncing properly. Seven and a half minutes, Prabhupada said. So half an hour you will finish four rounds. Half an hour to karna hi chahiye. Half an hour every day, half an hour on beats. Okay. Now, since you are in level two, please help the level one people who are there. Do some service, like uh, some vessels we can wash before going. Every single person, just one or two. Some service we should do. And since we are growing in bhakti, we'll be able to realize this theory what I've taught today only when we do service, selfless service. Because bharatan donors for you, something will happen. That's all selfless. And anyways, you'll not get much service because many people are there now to do service. So, jaiye, grab karke ke dhoiye. कुछ कीजिए सर्व कीजिए प्रसाद डू समथिंग इट विल हेल्प यू थैंक यू हरे कृष्णा श्रीमद भगवद गीता की श्रीला प्रभुपाद की लेट्स गो टू द सेंटर अटेंड आरती एंड हैव प्रसाद